you look out at a city and you think about the access to public parks, access to public libraries, access to public goods. These are all things that affect the quality of life. And we now know that the quality of life directly affects how our genes operate. Your zip code may be more important to your health than your genetic code. We used to think chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, some cancers, were really a product of the genes you inherited and the lifestyle choices you made as you were getting older. What epigenetics tells us is that these diseases, rather than starting later in life, actually occur at the earliest stages of development and probably even in the previous generation. People are being born into this world at fundamental disadvantage that actually increases over time as a result of interaction with hostile environments. It's not biological determinism. It's about risk. And what we know is that risk that somebody comes into the world with is either reduced or increased by the environments they come in contact with. This is not just a health problem, but this is a much broader social equity issue. I'm interested in what the best zip code in the state of Oregon looks like. Strong neighborhood connections, strong schools, access to parks, access to affordable, healthy food. Many communities don't get these things, and now we know that through no choice of their own, by not having access to just these public goods, their health is being put at risk.